Hey everyone, welcome back to FAMCAST. We are having a blast. This is segment three with Dr. Sinecropi. Clearly, there's not enough time, Meg. We need hours no. with this brilliant man. Totally. And, and not just a brilliant physician, but a kind-hearted, compassionate guy that cares about people, that yep. wants to learn, and that's why we're so fired up. So in this segment, we really wanted to dive into that musculoskeletal toolbox. And we've mm -hmm. talked about bone health and we've talked about REMS as being a real tool to really empower everyday people to get in the driver's seat of their health, to become the CEO of it. But then as we see in our clinics, whether somebody's bones are great, whether they have osteoporosis or perhaps they've, they've got a good BMD, a good bone mineral density, but their bone quality is terrible, every single person says this next thing. Now, what do I do? Mm -hmm. What now? And that's, I believe, where conventional medicine all often falls wrong or falls short. And that's the opportunity gap that I've existed in in my career for 32 years, is really helping people get into action so they can change their outcomes. And Dr. Sinecropi, I know that's why you are now are switching gears in the wellness space and you welcome. We're thrilled to have welcome you. Welcome to wellness. <laughs> welcome to wellness. We're thrilled to have you. Um, welcome to the family because your hypercharged clinics are changing the game. So let's talk about, you know, bone health, but also just, you know, when we're talking about biohacks and we're talking about stocking the toolbox of everyday people, what are you doing at hypercharge? And let's talk about, you know, some of the actual tools that you're using that are helping people change their overall health. I, I really appreciate that. Very kind. Um, I, I think that the way that I, I would I would frame this before we get into kind of what we're doing at, at the hypercharge clinics as far as biohacks and and as far as um uh looking at 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 actually uh classifying people and where they're at risk and what we can do for them i think that i just want to just briefly talk about the number one thing that i do as a physician and we'll be doing you know at at our clinics is talking about all the different buckets that people really need to focus on i think it's very simple very simplistic there's the physical bucket and that is nutrition right uh, resistance exercise, high intensity interval training, just just moving. But then even more in depth, when you talk about nutrition, adequate protein intake, um, the appropriate uh, uh, you know, nutraceuticals and supplements. I know that you're, you guys are huge into this, you know, calcium intake, vitamin K, vitamin D. We could talk about this, that part of it for, for hours. Another thing that we really are starting to focus on in our patients, and there's amazing work being done on it is microbiome health because the gut brain connection is so fascinating. I mean, I could talk about it for six hours because I'm just doing nothing but, you know, filling my brain with information on microbiome health. And, you know, it's the major producer of serotonin, your belly, it all goes up to your brain. If your microbiome health is not good, you're just not going to be well. And it is also a contributor to so much other, you know, the health crises and it's part of it's the microbiome, part of it is sugar intake, this and that. So really focusing on dieting, nutrition. So diets such as intermittent fasting and paleo diets, people can do it as vegans. There's all different types of extremely healthy diets for another, you know, discussion. That's the one bucket. That's the physical. Another big one in the physical is toxins. The amount of exposure to toxins, you're talking about 5G towers, even though that's somewhat controversial, it's really not. You're talking about just breathing air pollution. You're talking about food toxins, plastics. We talk about veterans that are exposed to burn pits and all kinds of other toxins. These toxins lodge inside your mitochondria and create mitochondrial dysfunction. Literally, how are you going to talk about this information in a seven to 14 minute visit? You can't, it's just too broad. And so that's why this health and wellness thing. So anyway, that's the physical, but that's kind of the physical bucket. The next bucket is mental health. 
right and so there's so many things to do and that 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 they they overlap like my you know when you whether you're talking about your uh, microbiome health or other things really focusing on our mental health but a lot of it is just awareness getting rid of all of these old ways of thinking about mental health and how much your diet influences mental health how many other things and how importantly the third bucket which is the spiritual bucket. When I say spiritual, not everyone's religious and there's so many different ways that people, pray. it's spiritual is different. I'm talking about yoga, meditation practices, breath work, doing anything, which I know is near and dear to your guys' hearts to get us in a parasympathetic mode and, and being doing those more spiritual things or things that change your heart rate variability and change the release of uh, the sympathetic system hormones, then will uh, uh, basically stimulate vagal nerve hormones and parasympathetic system. And you can do that through things that you guys utilize, like vagal nerve stimulators and other things, but there's easy ways to do it. Just breath work. Take a walk in nature. You can do all these things. It's it's surprising with people's lifestyles now. They just look at their phones all day. They don't move. They don't do anything. And then they're sick. And they, and then and then they're shocked. So those are the the very much the lifestyle modifications that we absolutely need to make. And honestly, we're all gonna you we're all gonna scream until we're blue in the face or pass out or you know whatever whatever you know whatever uh, you know phrase you want to use. Then we can get into biohacking now. When we talk about biohacking, and this is what we do a lot of at the hypercharge clinics, biohacking can get really, really complex. We can start going down to these molecular levels and talk and 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 send you for you know 500 different tests and things like that. I'm not talking about that, and that's why we form the hypercharge clinics. So once we made the decision that we felt that there was enough very hardcore scientific data to support this, especially as some of us are physicians that are part of this group, not everyone's you know, physicians, then we were comfortable enough to say, hey, there are these different modalities that we can use to stimulate, to recharge your battery, your cells, your mitochondria to function better, which are additional treatments to the other things you're doing, right? Combining these things, learning. I've learned so much from you guys about things you're doing I've never heard of, like spike technology. That's that's new to me, those, those things. But anyway, having these biohacks, so specifically on the biohacks that we offer, not you know having you know time constraint to get deeply into it, because again, it's a whole entire topic in and of itself. One big one, one big category is photobiomodulation. So for those that don't know, it's red light therapy, people under red light therapy. Think about the word photobiomodulation. Another thing that gives me goosebumps when I talk about it, you're taking photo light and, and bio, right? Tissue, right? Life. And you're modulating it. We can change the way your cells work by shining a light on it. How simple is that? That's it's so simple that people just don't want to believe it. Yes. And they yes. And it can be translated into their homes. So, yes, you can do it at a clinic, but there are also opportunities. And this is one of many, whether it be, you know, red light therapy, whether it be the dolphin microcurrent with vagal nerve that, that can be done at home, whether it's spike technology, whether it's the maritime vibration plate, all of these things, as you're saying, you can do it in a clinic, but then because people don't want to believe it, it's too simple. No. And then they can be taking it home. And the impact is immense and it's scientific. Oh, so there, I, I urge the folks that are watching this to just Google photobiomodulation. There'll be so many articles that pop up, so many conditions. You won't even know what's going on if you've never heard about it. And you might feel slighted. Why did no one ever tell me about this before? 6,000 and counting articles out there on photobiomodulation. So there, it's not just red light. We're doing green light therapies and, and, and other things. And But the, the general gist of it, just to just use lay terms, is that we are penetrating your tissues with light therapy. It's absorbed in your mitochondrial wall, which then base and the mitochondria, the powerhouses of the cell, it fixes the mitochondria. Mitochondria then produce more energy, but they also send signals to the nucleus of the cell, which is the brain of the cell. And that, and it tells the cell, hey, get better, don't die. You're good now, and it can literally heal. So just to let folks know, we're treating things like 
Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, they're early, but making dramatic impacts, concussion therapies, using transcranial red light therapies. I urge people to look at the 2021 study out of Harvard, which showed scientifically shown randomized controlled study that showed a dramatic improvement in brain injury with red light therapy transcranial for concussion symptoms proven on MRI. Laser therapy is the, basically you take red light therapy and you condense it into a powerful beam, like the beams that are coming out of, you know, Superman's eyes, right? When he, when he's got his business to do, and that can penetrate even deeper. It's a higher intensity. So we use something at hypercharge called the class four laser, and that is FDA approved for treating musculoskeletal issues, but we use it for many, many other things outside of that as physician, you know, own clinic. We, you know, we do things uh, off label as long as it's safe and it's very, very safe. And and laser therapy can dramatically speed healing, low back pain, disc injuries, hamstring injuries. I can go on. I mean, RSD. I mean, you name the, the condition, laser therapy. I mean, we've got people with oral lesions that we've treated, and you can treat laser therapy for Bell's palsy. In fact, we actually had our team reach out to Embiid of uh, the Philadelphia 76ers. We got no response because, you know, people don't know about this stuff because he had a Bell's palsy. Um, even though in, in, in disclosure, I was a Knicks fan growing up my, you know, whole, so I, why we're trying to help Philadelphia, I have no idea. I am a big, uh, Timberwolves fan now, but that being said, so pulsed electromagnetic frequency is another one at the hypercharge clinics. He, PEMF treatment is vital in the treatment of bone health. So we talk about what do we do for bone health problems? I mean, PEMF is a must include it. And, and, and if you combine PEMF with resistance exercise and then you combine it with right the right nutrients the right amount of protein the right amount of vitamin d calcium k and and on and on things like you know the vibrate other vibrational devices including belts and things which can stimulate osteoblastic health now we're taking those young people and never going to experience what they would have in their future selves, as we talked about. And, and, and so it's, it's, just, it's just incredible. We have other things like oxygen therapies that we do in structured water therapies, which are outside the bounds of, you know, I need, you know, 20 minutes to, to, to discuss those because it's so, so exciting. People know hyperbaric oxygen chambers. We're doing it a little bit different. You do some exercise and breathe pure oxygen. The health benefits are incredible as a longevity hack. It's incredible. It's great for pretty much every cell in your entire body. And so we think about it. What the hypercharge clinic is doing is it's taking scientifically vetted modalities, physician approved, that then other physicians are saying, yes, this is real. Seeing it, it you know, it, and then putting it all together to put together a strategy and formulator. But again, we want them to do that plus the lifestyle modifications. And then the last thing I wanna say about hypercharge as far as what we are doing, as far as diagnosing some of these conditions. And so we are doing another type of hypercharge clinic. It's called hypercharge medical, where we are doing more laboratory analysis and things like that. But the things we're bringing in there are REMS bone scan, because we are really going to be the flag bearers for early scanning, right? 21 and up, you got to get scanned because then we have a protocol for you to undergo. And we have a great bone health protocol. We're going to be doing brain mapping through EEGs. And there's excellent work being done on that where you can predict 10 years before somebody starts having memory loss and cognitive loss just from the way that their brain cells are. Now we have a program for you, transcranial brain you know, the, uh, therapies through either light therapy or, or transcranial electromagnetic stimulation, which we'll be offering in our medical clinics that has to be done in a more medical center, right? Other supplementation. There's so many supplements that can help with your brain health, right? And then the last one we do, which I just talked to a guest this morning about it, and he was and he loves it. So there's something called the the endothelial glycocalyx. And that is the lining of your microvasculature. It's in every blood cell. It is really the origin of cardiovascular disease, stroke, a lot of Alzheimer's, heart attacks, all this stuff. 
when that is damaged by metabolically poor lifestyles and health and all this other stuff, things just don't work right and you're chronically ill, including your bone health. And so we're using a device called the GlycoCheck, which is a very quick test, which looks at the, um, the, the, the blood cells in your capillaries and through an AI program tells you the health of your endocalyx. And then we know what your microvascular health is like. So just imagine this. We know what your microvascular health is like, which is a cornerstone of all your health. We're looking at your brain health and using predictive analysis and then bringing in the REMS bone scan to look at your bone health. So people can come in now. By the time they leave their first visit, they have a comprehensive view of their of their health like a real comprehensive view not oh yeah your blood pressure is normal and your you know your blood counts are good so clearly here clean bill of health you're fine go and live your life right it's really and and labs on top of that as necessary since we are physicians seeing the these patients and so i think it, it it's going to change the game and then adding all those other amazing other devices that I'm learning so much about from people like yourself and other people, you know, just having an open mind. Obviously, we vet all these things. If you tell me, hey, you know, like rub, uh, you know, like Windex on your, you know, on your patient's low back and they're going to do great. I might even see if there's an article on it, but clearly I'm not going to start doing it. And so people have to understand the reason we work so well together with complementary care providers is because we are then going to vet it. And now think about it. You have people from a totally different vantage point saying, this is amazing. And then you have the physician stamping it saying, this is amazing. And then we work together to promote these technologies and bring understanding, education, and just awareness to these things and the impact that we can make. Honestly, this is why we do what we do. It's not for money. It's not because we want to, you know, build clinics all over the place and, and, and sell it to some hedge fund. It's because we want to help people. I do not care if I make a dollar from doing this wellness stuff. I would do this for free. You know when you know you're happy? When you're doing stuff and you would do it if people didn't pay you anything or if you were paying to do it. Because I will pay to tell to 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 convince people that this is the right thing to do, whether they come to our clinics or not. I, I, I don't care. I just want to get the word out. Oh my we need a hype. We need a oh. clinic in Canada. When, how soon can we make that happen? <laughs> and Dr. Sinecropi, I'm almost on the edge and I'm being real here. I'm on the edge of tears. And here's why. 32 years as a proud registered massage therapist in Canada, it's a regulated health profession, owning an award-winning clinic, earning the respect of colleagues in, in conventional medicine, but always believing that we were better together as one. It is refreshing. It's invigorating. And I feel like the reason I sold my clinic two years ago was so that I could do legacy work. And I knew there would be people like you that would come on board. And I am so honored. I'm so proud. And we are so excited to be bringing this forward to bring more people in, more physicians, more complementary healthcare professionals, because at the end of the day, when we put the patient at the center, everybody wins. And so for all of our listeners at home, know that we are about to launch our CEO of your health hub, which you know about Dr. Sinecropi, and Dr. Sinecropi has said that he would contribute some of his unbelievable knowledge to this, where it's going to be at your fingertips, putting you in the driver's seat of your health and creating community not just in clinics like your hypercharge, but where they're at home, where we can make a difference and change the legacy of healthcare. What an hour of conversation. We need 10 more hours. And I was going to say that went way too fast. <laughs> way too fast. We are humbled. We are honored. And as healthcare professionals ourselves, but in the complimentary side, we know we're better together. We're learning from you. And thank you for acknowledging that you want to learn from us as well. And as a result, we're going to have a better impact. So Thank you for coming, and we hope that you'll come back another time. Oh, 100 percent. I'm coming back. I, I'm energized. I'm a little upset that this is ending right now because I just feel I feel like we're just getting we're just getting warm. You know, it's like, uh, you know, when you're, you know, 18 years, you know, what, not 18. Let me say 21. I don't want to get any trouble. When you're 21 and you go to that first party, you know, we're just warming up just the first drink. Yeah, By the way, I'm not con I'm not condoning drinking oh. that that. <laughs> That also can can create a lot of metabolic uh, illness, but that's a whole that's a whole other thing.
It's a but mocktail. we're also proud of our collaboration with your TV. And so we're keeping it tight so it can also go on television. Um, thank you for your time and energy. And I know that you will agree with this statement. A healthy tomorrow begins with prevention today. And that's what this conversation was about. So on behalf of everybody here at Your TV, Megan and I, the FAM movement, and of course, Dr. Sinecropi, thank you. Get into the driver's seat of your health and stay tuned. Um, we want to make sure you're interacting. Let us know what you want to hear more about. Dr. Sinecropi will be back as, as well as many other guests. And until next time, stay well.